All right, we're leaving Florence now and heading to the train station to take our train to Rome. We just arrived at Roma, Germany. We're gonna go catch a taxi or Uber and check into our Airbnb. I have no idea where to go, which exit to take, but we will figure this out. So we're waiting on our Uber driver. Yeah, license plate and number everything matches. Trust me, I always look at the license plate before I get in the Ubers. <laughs> And here's actually a really nice shot of the apartment building that we're staying at. Literally, literally down the street from the Vatican. It's a little courtyard of the apartments we're staying in. Anyways, there's a little bit of construction going on. Okay, so we just checked into our Airbnb. It's near the Vatican. And again, another three bedroom with three bathrooms. We got a, I guess, a kitchenette. Living room area. And dining room. Continuing down the hall is bathroom number one. And turning back around, first bedroom. We got two twin beds. Continuing down the hall again is our second bathroom. And the second bedroom again with two twin beds. And the last bedroom is what we would consider the master bedroom because it does have its Ensuite bathroom. Ready? We're crossing. So we had no tours of book for today, but we are doing our own DIY food tour. We we're gonna do it in Trastrive, but today is their um, Labor Day holiday, and a lot of the restaurants that we chose are closed. So we're just sticking around um, by the Vatican and doing some restaurants around here. It's Vatican City right there. The smallest country in the world, I think, something like that. Okay, we're coming up on our first stop, but it's this right here, Trapacinos. So actually, here's a good picture of the Trapacino. Grazie. All right, so we got the meatball and the eggplant parmesan. Trapacino. So we're heading over to our second spot, I believe is a pizza place. All right, so we've made it to our second stop. The uh, It is a pizza place, see? Here's our pizza and it has a uh, sausage, mushrooms, and some cheese. Oh, the salami one that I was looking at. And then Leon ordered this one for himself. All right, so here is, it referred to rice balls. This one right there is the classic one, which is uh, basically tomato sauce and mozzarella. And the two lighter ones are the chicken cabarna, cabar, cabar, cabarna. cabarnera. Okay, and we're walking to our last stop, which is gonna be a pasta place. So this is our last stop on our little DIY food tour. So after our little DIY food tour, we headed back to the Airbnb just to rest and we actually ended up napping. Uh, all that walking in Florence and four days finally took a toll on us. Um, we're back out trying to grab something to eat for dinner and the rain caught up to us from Florence. It was supposed to be raining a couple days over there but we got lucky and missed it but it caught us here in Rome. And we're actually stopping off at a market as well. Look at the salami. Um. Oh, here's the cheeses to go with my salami. But we have one of these that we bought at the farmer's market in Florence. So I think that'll be 
good enough. And I don't really know my cheeses, so I think we'll just stick with what we have at the apartment. All right, so we're grabbing some burgers from this burger joint. We're taking it to go. We're going to eat it back at the Airbnb. So it's our first full day in Rome, and it's actually our sixth day here in Italy. This morning, we're heading out to the Colosseum. We're just waiting on our taxi. All right, so we've made it to the Colosseum, but we're at the tour guide office waiting to check in. Everybody standing around here has a sticker on their shirt and basically we're all skip the line. So we have to go through security at the entrance of the Colosseum. Mom, mom, my mom's over there. Mom, Imelda. Okay, now we're heading up to the first level of the Colosseum. We're walking to uh, have lunch, but we're actually coming up on the Trevi Fountain as well. So made it to the Trevi Fountain. And the crowd. I'll let you stand up here right now, babe. Oh, you're kidding. Okay, so this is the restaurant we're having lunch at. We're heading over to our next tour for the day, which is a Vespa tour. All right, we're here at the Vespa tour. We're getting geared up. All right, all geared up. Got the helmet on. It's supposed to rain, so we provided us little ponchos. Here we go. Our first stop at Trevi Fountain, we were actually over here earlier, but it's part of the tour and it's starting to come down. So the only benefit of the rain is that the Trevi Fountain is pretty cleared out. And left for sure. Left. And this is the uh, Pantheon that we're entering. Vespa tour makes a stop for gelato. So we just made it back to the Airbnb from our Vespa sidecar tour. Um, since it was rainy, we we're also soaking wet, so gonna dry up some clothes, um, get out of these wet shoes. Probably later on just go grab something to eat, but other than that, there's no plans. So those will probably be it for today until tomorrow.
Okay, I know it's pretty loud, so I'm gonna say quickly what I need to say. Today is day seven, our last full day here in Rome. Today we're doing Vatican City, and later on we have a pasta cooking class. So it's 8.07 in the morning, and this is what morning traffic looks, looks, at, looks like. All right, so we purchased a skip the line ticket. We just checked in with the uh, tour company. That's our tour guide there. Well, the guy with the clipboard is our tour guide. We don't, it's not actually a guided tour. We just paid for skip the line. Yeah, so this is the lines we're getting you to skip and walk straight into the museum. If you're buying, purchasing tickets here at the office, that line right over there wraps around the building. Just provided us with our tickets and left us and now up the escalators and we're free to go about ourselves one of the folks didn't like that all the pps were showing so he had them cut the gravy yeah and no cameras allowed. So we're pretty much at the end of the uh, Vatican Museum, so just like at Disneyland, after the attraction that throws you into the gift shops. All right, so that's it for the uh, Vatican Museum and the Sistine Chapel. All right, we're gonna go grab something to eat. We're actually gonna go back to Trapasinos where we ate earlier. All right, so now I can show the uh, line if you're purchasing tickets at the Vatican as opposed to buying them online ahead of time or either booking a tour with the guide or just to skip the line. And then the line continues wrapping around the building that way. So we ended up eating at Tapizano's, which was the first place that we ate here um, in Rome, the little triangle stuffed breads. Now we're heading across the Tiber River to do some shopping. Last tour for today and this trip is a pasta cooking class and we just arrived. Okay, which one? <laughs> uh, here is Luca. <laughs> Has the boss. Face and water face. You hear it? Yes, you can check the temperature, just drop everything in. <laughs> We went there, we bought the cold cuts, but on the way out, on the so we can you know, our finger, our legs. Onion, onions, the pizza. We want to flip the oil. That's right. In special way, the one that's in the center. They put the water. All the way underneath the pasta and they keep the pasta. We want to make little nests, two fingers like this. I go with the fettuccine like this. So to twist my hand like this. Ah. <laughs> 
I mean, all, all the way down, like, Malia has it like that. Hi, guys. Hello. 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 It's not a lot of water, so directly from the pan can go, can go in here. We are going to put the lemon zest now. This. Okay. Do you want to put smell the cheese. Mm -hmm. Let me smell the thing. This one is our ritual. Guys, my way, pick your wish, shine the sky. Okay, that's serious, pick your wish. Now, take it back to the ground. So, make it yours, drink it down. Salute, Salute. thank you. Okay, so we just finished up with our pasta cooking class and that was actually our last tour for the day. And like I said, this was our last full day. And unfortunately, my SD cards were full during the pizza class, so I'm using my Samsung Galaxy to record the rest of this. So I'm pretty much gonna end it here since tomorrow all we're doing is heading out and heading home. All right, till the next one.